डे 25 एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज जंप गेम इट्स लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम नंबर 55 एंड वी विल सी एट अ सॉल्यूशन व्हिच इज ऑर्डर एंड टाइम एंड ऑर्डर वन स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सो फर्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम सो वी हैव सम ब्लॉक्स और यू कैन थिंक ऑफ देम एज एन एरे ऑफ नंबर्स एंड दीज नंबर्स आर नॉन नेगेटिव एंड दीज नंबर्स डिनोट जंप्स so non negative jump means you cannot jump in this direction so either it can be zero or greater than zero so if it's zero and you are at a particular step then zero means you are stuck here if you reach here you are stuck here you cannot jump any further but if you are at a step and let's say jump size is 2 then you have uh, the flexibility to jump maximum up to two steps so if there is one block here and one block here you can jump till here or you can also jump here so you have the flexibility to jump a uh, zero step one step two step all three so zero one two uh, why will you jump zero because it may be the last step then you don't require to jump so you will not jump so uh, let's see two examples one positive case and one negative case just to uh, understand the problem much better so you will always start from first step so you don't need to jump to reach the first step so one direct thing you can uh, consider is that if there is only one step then no matter what is the value you will return true so there is just one step and you have reached the last your goal is to reach the last from first till last not cross this even if the last one is zero it's fine you have to just reach here from here so let's say from two we can jump two steps so we can come here and we can also come here now which one we will actually take will depend later maybe that from here there is a direct jump to four but from here it's zero so if we come here we will be stuck so it's not uh, the case that we always take the longer jump that is not the case and from here we can jump one step two step three step so in fact we got our answer here itself we will from two i can come to three and from three i can jump to four so there is a way of jumping from two to four there will be multiple ways in fact you can take one one jump also here one then again jump by one step from here also you are allowed to make one jump from here also one so there will be multiple solutions but you have to just return true or false whether reaching the last uh, step is possible or not now let's uh, look at this negative example so here you see zero that means if you ever reach here you are stuck so from 3 i can come to 2 1 and 0 from 2 where i can i go i can go to 1 and 0 so you see from 3 as well as 2 i cannot advance beyond 0 so 2 did not uh, improve our solution we are always trying to find the maximum where i can reach so from 3 maximum i can reach till 0 from 2 also maximum i can reach till 0 and from 1 i have just 0 or 1 jump possible so maximum i can reach till 0 so we are iterating the array from left and moving towards right and we are trying to find what is the best or farthest i can reach and you see that we are not able to cross this barrier and uh from 0 we cannot take any step so we are stuck here so there is no way of reaching 4 neither from 0 neither from 1 neither from 2 neither from 3 and uh, how we are keeping track of this when we visit a cell or a step we see what is the maximum i can jump so for example uh, let's say we have 3 and then we have 1 and 1 so from 3 i can go till here obviously i can also go here and here then when we come to 1 we will see if we can 
better this solution that is if we can reach any farther so from one we can reach till here so uh, this one does not contribute anything because wherever we can reach from this one we can also reach from this step so this is not contributing anything and similarly when we come here so the max still remains this 0 1 2 3 so we keep track of a max reach when we are traversing this array from left to right so initially it was 0 when we reach here 3 then max reach becomes 0 1 2 3 4 so max reach is 3 when we come to 2 we see that is it better than earlier and how we find uh, so this is the index i the current index or this index i and we see uh, what is the value of this step the value of uh, element at this position and that denotes the jump so from i if we are at a uh, step i and the value is 1 that means i can reach till i plus uh, this array is a i plus a i this denotes jump so we compare if i plus a i is more than existing max reach then only we find found a better solution so in that case we will update max reach equal to i plus ai so from 2 it's 3 so we don't update when we come to 1 uh, i is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 still not better so we we'll move ahead and now we see uh, i is 3 so 3 plus 0 is 3 so we are not making any progress and we come to 4 now i is 4 and max reach is less than i so the termination condition will be that after this calculation step we compare if i is equal to max reach that is from ith index the maximum index i can reach is i itself so what does this condition denote you understood it so from index i the maximum further i can reach is itself that is i cannot move even one step further if mac if i can even take one step then max reach would, would be at least one more than this current uh, index i but that is not the case so from i i cannot move further and i am stuck so I will stop this uh, iteration whenever we encounter this situation. We will not check for further because there is no way to move further from this index. And after I stop this iteration, I check whether max reach is uh, more than this last index or not, more than or equal to. This condition will also be reached when we are at the last step and the last step's value is zero. So if this value is zero, then also this condition will be reached so we will stop this this loop and finally we will check if max reach is till this index or more then it's true otherwise it's false so let's uh, write the code for this first i will write it in c plus plus then uh, modifying it for java and python would be very trivial max reach equal to 0 then we loop if nums i plus i this denotes maximum i can jump from the current index if this is greater than the current solution current best solution uh, then we update it else uh, whatever was the previous best will remain there and now the second check we will make if max reach is equal to i that is from ith index 
or the maximum I can reach is the current index itself that is we are stuck so we break and this loop ends we will stop checking further and if this condition did not occur or occurred at the last step then we are good to go so we will return max reach greater than equal to nums dot size and let's try it and it works for this case let's take the negative case also let's add few more cases 1 0 so this should be true now let's add 1 0 0 this should be false from here I can go to layer and I don't need to take any jump so whether it is 0 or more it does not matter and we can confirm that with this both are equivalent so it should return uh, true false true true false so let's run it so our expected answer does not match it so let us check why in second it's returning true okay so this is the mistake this should be i not one and still it's wrong for this case third case one zero so let us check uh, so it should be greater than equal to num size minus one not uh, index starts from zero and goes till num size minus one so if we reach there it's fine so that was a mistake so let's try again and now it's same as expected so we have checked for five cases we are confident enough and we will submit we also found a few bugs in our code while running test case so this solution is accepted so let me copy it for java and paste it and this we will replace with length and same here other things are same in java so let's go ahead and it works as expected let's submit and the solution in java is also accepted finally we will submit in python 3 max reach equal to 0 and for i in range len nums and let's uh, try to run it if it compiles then it will be accepted as well so it compiles and works for our test case so let's go ahead and submit this solution in python and this solution is also accepted so i hope uh, you enjoyed uh, the solution you understood the solution and what will be the time complexity we are just making one pass of this uh, list so the time complexity will be order n, n linear time and space we are using only some constant variables order one space complexity